If you haven't already done it, you'll want to head over to google.com forward slash AdSense forward slash start to apply for Google AdSense. And it can take anywhere from, say, a couple of hours to a few weeks or maybe even a couple of months, depending on their backlog of approving sites. So you can get approved for Google AdSense. Currently, they're expecting at least six months of content and traffic on a site before they're even wanting to look at it. So keep that in mind. Once you get your account and get everything set up, then we can move on to the next step. Once you apply and get accepted, you can log into your Google AdSense account and then we can paste, we need to find and paste some code to our website. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to ads, overview, and then you wanna click on buy ad unit so you can create them. So let's click create display ads and you get a little preview of what it will look like. From here, you can make the changes on what type of ad that you want and where you wanna place it. You want to keep it responsive so it can shrink or grow, whether they're looking at your website from a phone or a desktop, what have you. So depending on what type you want to do, pick that and then name it. You want to name it something so you'll know maybe where you're placing it. That's a good idea. And then let's come down here to click create. Now this is the bit of code that we need to copy. So let's go ahead and copy the snippet and then we can put it manually on our website. Let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. From here, we're going to put it in our sidebar. And so we wanna to go to appearance, widgets, so we can put that in our sidebar area. Custom HTML is the widget that we're looking for. So let's drag it over, put it where we want it to go. And then I wanna right click and paste that bit of code. Now we can click update, and now that will be in our sidebar area. Now that's a very manual process, and you would have to do that for as many ads as you want to place all over your website. If you want a little bit more control over that, you can check out a plugin called Ad Sanity. But then the next step that I'm gonna show you is really just letting AdSense do all of the work for you by automatically adding code on there by using their auto ads function and it just lets them handle it all for you. So it's a little bit different way that you put it on your website, but it works really well. So let's head back over to AdSense and we're gonna say, overview we want to do it by site and you see let google place the ads for you say let's get the code and this is just a bit of code snippet that we need seems much simpler we'll go back to our website and to make this easy to add code we always recommend using something like insert headers and footers it's a plugin that lets you add code safely onto your site it's a free plugin so we'll head over to plugins add new search for insert headers and footers Go ahead and click install now and we'll also activate the plugin from here as well once it's activated we'll go to settings insert headers and footers and for that bit of code we want to put it in the header section so it can show up all over your site and then google will determine where are the best places for it so let's click save and now google will show ads in all the best possible places on your website and if you're looking for other ways to make money with your website, watch this video next as Syed and I talk about the 10 best proven methods to make money with your blog. And I'll see you over there.